of the participatory exercises was to involve the kids from the very beginning of the project to give them a sense of ownership that they actually were part of uh, the making of this project. So we weren't people from the outside bringing something into them, but they were part of uh, imagining it, conceptualizing it, and even bringing their own uh, elements of play or what they like to play to the playground. The design of the playground was uh, really affected by the participatory exercise that we did in March, uh, but we also had to do a lot of research about the kind of spaces that we wanted to create uh, in relation to the act of play. We divided the work into two workshops. The first workshop was uh, designated to build the structure of the playground, which was a timber structure, easily assembled and disassembled. It was all cut, sanded, varnished and built on site. And then the second uh, workshop was to animate the playground with, uh, with the kids, create all of these games that were all designed on site. We mainly created three kind of spaces. Uh, one is uh, uh, the active spaces, so all the spaces that are like related to physical activities, like the basketball court or the monkey board. Another kind of space was the private spaces, so where the kids can go and like be. In, a, in an environment where they feel like relaxed and they can do like uh, the activities that they want. And, and the other spaces are like educational spaces. So for example, all the panels that we installed, uh, they all have like messages about like subjects or like concepts that uh, uh, we decided to put and we developed together with the, with the panel. Most of these children have just fled the war and they live in uh, really harsh uh, and restrictive environments that don't allow them to express themselves and, and uh, just be children. And before the playground was built, what we observed is that they would fight a lot on the gravel because they had all this trapped energy that they needed somewhere to uh, express it. So this playground is really going to connect them back to their childhood. <laughs> لما بتقولي له اشتري لعبة كان بسوريا يشتري مثلا سيارة يشتري طيارة يشتري شغلة هلا فارودة يا مسدس يعني صارت غريزة المشكلة مثل ما عملك انه بده انه احتواء سواء بالمخيم او برات المخيم بدهم احتواء بدهم مشروع بدهم حدا يتكفل فيهم playground is uh, such an attraction for children to come to school. We spoke to the teachers and they told us that they had a lot of children re leaving the school before and I think that having the playground here is going to reverse that and it's going to really increase the attendance. What's your best part of the workshop? I think like building it, like see that something that you project is realized, like you are creating what you draw, so it's really nice. Surya, <laughs> 
بتصحيني كل ما نام قوم اصحى من نومك الشام رح بتطيب الشام مثل الشمس بدها تشرب ما بتغيب عودي كما كنت يا دمشق لا اود ان اموت الا فيك عشقة عودي واقفة الشامخة مثل قسيون قال لي في من المحبة مثل اغصان الزيتون هي الشام شامنا لو الزمان ضامنا افتح كتابك شوف فرع عن تاريخ جدادنا والله سهرة واحدة بضاحية مصيب تسوى عندي كل بلاد الغربة واللي فيها